what's up guys? The ranked two player in the world is cycling through wins at top ladder using this drill deck. With an average elixir cost of 2.6 elixir, a champion for three card cycle, and multiple one and two cost cards, this gives you one of the fastest possible card cycles in the game. Allowing you to speedily spam drills of ball ball breakers and skeletons for persistent problems for every opponent. And despite Clash Royale classifying the drill change as a rework, it was definitely a big buff. At the cost of 9% health, it now spawns the goblins faster and spawns one extra goblin. In theory, the devs thought it would be easier to damage down, but they made it an overpowered problem. And now Drill has absolutely infested the top of the leaderboards. If you only have one evolution, use Evolve Wallbreakers, but both of them work well as a solo evolution. It's time to steal this deck from the pros to drill our opponents down and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And anyone that's used Creator Code Surtai to support the channel, you've drilled your way into my heart. Hey, we got a game against Zorn. So it seems like this guy's thinking with the goblin and the banner, and we got a lot of skeletons spawning. So I'm gonna go and drop my wall breakers here and see if we can get some damage. Guy's gonna have skeletons instead of goblins, I guess. So uh, he is betraying his banner, it seems. Definitely want to go for a little prince right in the middle. If you guys are wondering, this deck is played with Cannoneer at top ladder, but for accessibility, we are to be using the Princess Tower for every game after the first one. However, if you have the Cannoneer unlocked, I would suggest playing it with this deck. It's just a bit more pay to win, so not very many people are going to have it maxed out. I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit here, and then I'm going to go for a Drill as fast as possible, since we still have the Guardian tanking, so it's going to give us a good trade. Then I could Fireball on the Pigs. They should get some damage on the tower, but it's not going to be that much. Also, we're gonna force a log out that doesn't even kill the goblins. Wait, he's in a terrible spot. I think I could pre-log skeletons, please. Oh, he went in for a Tesla because he was freaking out. He knew he couldn't get away with skeletons on defense there. So he ended up having to spend four extra elixir. So because evolved skeletons are pretty broken, we're definitely gonna have precedence on cycling those over the ice spirit. The ice spirit will get damage on the tower, but if you can get to skeletons evolution, you can just three crown or win the game. So I like that outcome a lot more than just getting a measly 100 damage on the tower. So we're going to go for a skill drill here, always in front of the tower. It's the best strategy, because if you're able to, then the Ice Spirit's going to be tanking and the Goblin spawn directly on the tower. If you guys are unaware, that is the big benefit of running the uh, strategy in front of the tower. So I'm going to click the ability here, and then I'm just going to go for a Fireball on the other side. The reason that I have to click the ability is because obviously the Evolved Skeletons would ruin me, and I want to be able to tank for the Archer Queen, so it was the best of both worlds. Also, that Fireball pushed his pigs a little bit closer to the tower so we're able to finish them off a bit faster i'm gonna go for evolved skeletons here on top of the archer queen and i think that that's gonna force a log so then both wall breakers connecting the other side oh my gosh he went delivery and it still wasn't able to withstand the test of time but now i think with an ice spear we're fine because it should be able to kill all of the skeletons then i can goblin drill in front of the tower if he goes archer queen he's not gonna go in the side that he wants and knight also doesn't go in the side that he wants so he's in a really bad spot that's what we like to see baby so usually when we're playing against Hogs EQ, we want to go for our Tesla in this particular placement. And the reason why is he's not able to go in for Earthquake and hit the Tesla and the tower at the same time. So really important to do that. Notice how he's just going Earthquake on top of Little Prince because of that. We're going to go in for Wall Breakers, and I think I can get back to another Tesla. I just want to guarantee that the Arch Queen doesn't walk onto our tower. And getting that Tesla in the field means that we're going to have a decent defense against pigs that are coming through if he decides to spam immediately. He'll probably go Delivery or Log. Yeah, he goes Delivery first. And the Goblin still spawn in the tower. See, Goblin Drill is really strong after the buff. Yeah, you know, Clash Royale says it's a rework, but I am not uh, buying that for a second. I am completely selling every other card and saying that little piggies are very strong and so are the uh, aggressive strategies of going in for drills at every twist and turn. The cycle decks are generally going to be the best in this meta. He's going to go for a log, but I'm not entirely convinced that he's going to be able to kill these wall breakers now. If he goes delivery, he's not going to be able to finish them off. Yo, let's go. They both connect. He's dead. Yep, 100%. Now we just go and spam another drill in his face, and we say goodbye. It is a disgrace that you are going to lose this matchup, but it is what it is. Generally, if you're playing against someone that's going to have Goblin Drill and they're spamming it every single second, it's practically impossible to defend against all the goblins, because eventually you're going to be down Elixir. One of the goblins will spawn in the tower. It'll rack up like 200 damage every time. Meanwhile, I'm bombarding him with Wall Breakers, and Evolve Wall Breakers can't be countered for a possible Elixir trade. With this broken cycle deck consistently bombarding our opponents, it's bound to break down a tower. After cooking those piggies for breakfast, we're going to be swapping the Cannoneer for the Princess Tower. Yo, this guy finished 900 in the world. Actually, 899. He's going to be like making that distinction with us saying, Jake, I worked hard for that one extra rank. You better believe that I'm going to be saying that in the future. I'm sorry, man. Also, I misclicked my wall breakers, but wait, it kind of worked out because we forced an ice spirit since he missed one of them with the log. He's giving us the chef kiss, so we're going to be uh, cooking up some love for him as well. He misses the Tesla. 
And I, I don't mind that. I'm not missing out on damage then. Oh, sir, can we can we talk about you princessing at the river like that? I don't appreciate that behavior. Yo, he's really cooking some damage on our tower. All right, all right, all right. I see how it is. I'm not going to click the ability. That would just be a huge waste. It's better for us to viciously cycle and optimize our elixir spent by going in for Skeleton's Ice Spirit and then going for a log on the Goblin Barrel. I think that the wall breakers are going to force out the log, so then maybe we can go for a drill here and then Ice Spirit Skeletons again. And he's probably going to go for the Knight in the wrong spot. Yeah, he wasn't ready. The Goblins are going to spawn in the back now. So you guys see how we switched up the drill placement so it was less predictable? Sure, it took a lot of damage from the other side, but he wasn't able to stop it with the Knight. So he's given us the well played. It's nice to be able to do that and expect that a good player would be able to make those type of predictions. If he goes in for a princess, we'll just log it so we won't take any damage. And I feel like as soon as these skellies are going to die, he's going to princess me. So we're going to get ready with the log. Wear it at, brother. You want the damage, brother man? I can sense it. Okay, no Tesla in cycle. So it's wall breakers time, baby. I think so. I think we're ready to break down some towers. There's no way. There's no way his body isn't ready. Yo, the goblins are locking onto the tower too. And I'm so happy that we swapped out of the cannoneer when we're playing against Evo Skellies as much as we are. It's crazy, man. So yeah, I mean, I guess we can go for a little prince here on the princess. And the prince and the princess, I guess, are not allowed to kiss today. We're gonna have to fireball so then we extinguish her flames. All right, so just looking at the situation, playing against a top 899 player. I think that we're probably in a decent spot if we can force out the log, go in for our own log here, get wall breakers to force out skellies. I don't think that this is phenomenal, but it is what it is. We can ice spirit on the ice spirit, as you guys are about to see. We're going to be able to tank for the princess that way, and then we can go for wall breakers, so then the princess doesn't lock onto our precious tower. And then we can log it if we want to, but I, I don't want to. I want to Tesla here instead. It sucks to do this, but it is what it is. We're still up a little bit of damage, and the Tesla prevents him from going for princesses for quite a while. Also, we can log here. We can go for a drill in front. We can fireball on the knight. Oh, he's gonna not even drop the knight directly on the drill. This is huge. We can fireball on the knight and the princess and knock back the knight and make him drop a log earlier. Yep, that's huge damage. He was pressured to the point that he had to drop that before he wanted to. Now we can go for little prince at the river and guarantee that we we're able to get a good trade because his evolved knight's just gonna die now. He's gonna split up the both skellies, but they should fall. And then he's not gonna get any good trades with those skellies on the right-hand side because he doesn't have elixir to support it. I want a fireball on a Tesla. Maybe we can fireball on a Tesla and make a prediction just to flex. We need the princess and the Tesla to be huge. No, he didn't do it. Oh, man, that's kind of rough. Anyway, we can go for Skelly's Ice Spirit again. So then he, when he goes in for princess, he's not able to hit it. And then we pre-log on the skeletons or whatever else he drops. No, he doesn't do that either. Why is he playing well? Why did we match into someone that's 800 in the world? Also, why am I complaining when I'm winning? We're just going to fireball and win the game, right? There's no way you need to stop that. He cycled this log, so there's no way for him to stop the goblins from sliming him. Even though he was a top ladder player, he never stood a chance against this cycle deck. And it's kind of comical that his name was 2.6 because he was destined to get destroyed by this deck. Yo, this guy finished 36 in the world. Let's go. We are leveling up the difficulty today, and we are probably playing against the best person all day for sure. But let's see if we can beat him. Obviously, we want the little prince to hit it, and it does. That is beautiful. And we can fireball on the magic arch. I don't know if I hit it. I don't know if I hit it. I don't know if I hit it. Oh, let's go. We are on fire today with our fireball. So we're in a really good spot. Not going to pop the ability. Don't want to waste the elixir. It's not going to be able to break through spear goblins, skeletons, whatever this guy's going to drop. He is definitely going to be one of the best players, so we have to play our best. You guys already know the deal. We got to give him the respect. The drill in front of the tower. We're going to try to take some damage down here. We're trying to drill him like the dentist that he never wanted to see. And that is great. Look at the value that we're up. We're currently winning the game by like 900 damage. So I'm going to try to go for Little Prince in the middle. Then I get Wall Breakers in the right just to force Elixir. Actually, screw it. We're going to go for a Tesla because it counters everything. This Tesla pops off on top of the Knight as well. He's going to activate King Tower. Very good player. Seriously. <laughs> Knowing that type of mechanical play is not easy. I mean, it is possible to take absolutely no damage there. But most players will take a lot of damage and then not get anything from it. So this guy is built different, literally. For a Fireball, I don't know if this works. I hope I can kill that and lock onto the tower. It was worth it was worth because he minored on my tower. I need to get damage. Also, cycling the fireball is not terrible, right? We can cycle back to an ice spirit here, lock on the tower with that. Maybe go for wall breakers afterward because now he doesn't have skellies in cycle. We're going to log here. He's going to pre log on skeletons that don't come down. Does he just lose? I hope so. I mean, there's no way that we don't get damage with evil wall breakers. What? Are you serious? Wait, okay. There's a strategy here, though. We go for Evo Skelly's on offense because guess what? He doesn't have his log and he doesn't have his NATO. So Evo Skelly's on Evo Skelly's maybe. 
Can we beat a top 60 player in the world with our Evo Scallies? There's this chance. There's a chance that our Scallies can just multiply through and do him dirty. I really want this to work. I want him to cycle stuff. Oh, come on. That would have been so sick. Probably not for him, but for us, obviously. We're a little prince to the other side. I do think that it might be able to kill. Oh my gosh, after the range nerf. That's rough, man. That's really rough. All right, we're gonna pop ability here. And we'll go in for a drill in front and we'll see if we can finesse him. I don't think the knight is able to kill that. So we can fire a ball. We're gonna hit wall breakers as well. I don't know if we get that much damage, but we do get something. Oh, we got a lot of damage. Dang. All right, we're gonna ice spirit. Have a jump, and then we can go for skeletons, but it'll probably magic archer it, so I don't even want to. Yeah, top level players will freaking magic archer like skeletons. That's what the best players in the world do, by the way. They just don't mess with you. They uh, they make you sad, sirs. All right, we're gonna go for that. Tesla is very smart for us. We can go for a little prince to get the three card cycle. We'll go ice spirit here. We can go for skeletons here. He's gonna magic archer this probably, but it is what it is. Yeah, does he not magic archer the skeletons? Oh, he doesn't. I'm actually shook that he didn't do that. I'm really surprised. All right, let's pop the ability if we can. If not, it is what it is. All right, we need to go in for Tesla, and this is really scary. I might not be able to get it down time. I barely do. Barely, barely, barely. Go Ice Spirit. Log. Wall Breakers in the face of the Magic Archer. Okay, I think that was probably the right play because it kills Magic Archer. And we can go for Drill, and then we can Fireball, and then we can Log and Fireball again and probably win the game. I mean, there's no shot that he's able to defend all this, right? We just need one more Fireball. That's it. All right, so we're gonna go Tesla because we wanna be able to kill the Miner. And if we can, we can win with a Fireball. Oh my gosh, this game is really coming down the wire. I don't know if I'm able to do it. I, I, do I get logged? Do, does he Tornado? Did we catch the Miner? We caught the Miner. Oh my gosh, we won! Let's go! 22 HP against a top ranked player in Clash Royale. That is a ridiculous win. Despite him having the minor, we dug out the W. And I'm pretty sure I was saying the wrong rank the entire time. The guy was ranked 36 in the world, not top 60. Beating someone even better than we thought is a well-welcome surprise. So this madman's got an Electro Giant in the banner. I feel like he might just be sporting it for the new season instead of playing the card in actuality, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. He's gonna have Archer Queen, so we might be running it back for another Pig's Parade, possibly? We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna go in for a fireball on this Mother Witch though, and please let me get some damage with the skeletons gone. Yes, that is beautiful. That is serendipitous, and that is what we wanna see. We're gonna Tesla early, so we force him to pop the ability of his Archer Queen, and then the Archer Queen walks up. Wait, he didn't do it. He didn't even pop the ability. He just wasted his entire queen. But the queen's like, but I'm the queen. You're supposed to pop the ability. And he's like, nope, not today, man. So <laughs> I really wasn't ready for that. I mentally was not prepared for a opponent to waste an archer queen like that. But I guess he didn't have an elixir because he dropped his pigs and he dropped everything else. And he's prioritizing that. Anyway, we're going to go and pop the ability here. And we're going to show him how it's done. So <laughs> maybe he's going to realize, oh, champions have abilities. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I think he knew. I think his elixir was really limited, to be honest. So our Little Prince is still very strong, even after the nerf. A lot of people are like, Little Prince got nerfed. I'm never going to play it again. But in actuality, if a card gets nerfed and it's still like one of the better cards in the game, it doesn't matter if it got a nerf. It's still an S tier card. People run away from cards when they get nerfed instead of actually like analyzing what the card can do and its capabilities. Oh my gosh, that hurts. But maybe it hurts in a good way because we're able to get some skeletons. No, no, no. That was some premium copium, guys. Premium copium. I was coping hard. I was like, it hurts, but it's not going to hurt me that much. We're actually losing the game right now just because an Archer Queen locked onto my tower, and that hurts in more ways than one. It hurts my mental, and it also hurts my towers. We're going to Fireball here and knock back the Royal Ghost so that when our Goblins can get more damage. The Goblins be mobbing, and we're in a great spot because we can definitely go for Tesla and prioritize the defense against the Pigs. He's not going to be able to Earthquake and hit everything. He's going to go for a Tesla counter by dropping his Archer Queen in the middle. This guy's playing really well. Genuinely, I'm a little bit scared, but I think we're good enough to hit an Ice Spear on top of the Skellies, so we shouldn't be. And then I can go for Skellies again on top of the Queen. Okay, that Queen is doing way more damage than I thought it would. That thing is hurting me. Oh my gosh. I thought that it wasn't going to do that to me. But yet again, it pops off with value. Okay, we're kind of sort of maybe losing this game just because the Archer Queen is a scary card. You don't want to mess with her. So we're going to fire a ball directly on top of this, but then we have no fireball for the Barbarians. Dude's going to have multiple fireball bait cards on the deck. Interesting. 
Anyway, we definitely want to go in for an ability. And then we want to go for our Tesla again. And we should be fine. I mean, as long as we can Ice Spirit here, the Guardian is going to guard our tower, right? Say less, she says. All right, I, I guess, yeah. I mean, we can go for Skellies here. We're probably going to get Mother Witched, but it's fine. Wait, he's going to go for Evo Barbs? He's, he's airing? I think we're fine. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. We're so chilling. We've got 65 HP on a tower. We're so chilling. Not even close. Completely calculated, I swear. But for real, winning sketchy games like that is incredibly fulfilling. Because you know you don't deserve it, and it's an extra present as you push up the leaderboard. Yo, we got a game against someone with E-Barbs and Mega Knight and Wizard in the banner. So you already know that he's probably running a pretty toxic deck. So I'm going to go and split my wall breakers and see what he's cooking. If we're able to get some damage to wall breakers, that will always feel good. He's going to NATO, so I guess he's going to take a negative one trade. And he waited with the NATO, so he probably leaked another elixir there too. Anyway, we can go for a Goblin Drill. We're probably going to get Mega Knighted. Wait, what? Tornado and Bomb Tower? There's no E-Barbs. There's no Mega Knight. There's no Wizard so far. Are you actually running a Minor Wall Breakers deck like me? But we've got Goblin Drill, so we've got a slightly upgraded version of Minor Poison now with the Fireball and the Drill. It's a little bit better right now for sure. Definitely want to Fireball on the unit instead of hitting the Bomb Tower. It just doesn't make sense for us to do that because the Firecracker will give him extra value over time. I could pop the ability here, but it's not worth. I'd rather just go in for another drill and then fully counter this mighty miner with skeletons. And if we're playing against another hog EQ deck, this time instead of, you know, uh, piggies, we're going to be playing against hog rider most likely. It's important for us to maximize our utility by dropping our Tesla in the same spot. Maybe he's not running that. Maybe he's running miner though. There's a chance. There's a chance he's running miner because it's mighty miner though. It's so weird. Like the, that card was one of the few champions that deserved a buff that didn't get it. Oh, we're in a Tesla directly in front. And I bet you he goes in for Magic Archer. Let's make a prediction with Ice Spirit. He doesn't do it. So I guess he doesn't have Magic Archer in his deck or he just doesn't want to do it. Either way, that's really good for me. We'll go for a Goblin Drill Wall Breakers. And this time we got the evolution. So he can't Bomb Tower in the spot that he wants because he's freaking out. He's like, wait, what if the Wall Breakers blast me? Dude, the Bomb Tower didn't even stay alive. It's dead. And that means that his tower is just in shambles. Oh my gosh. And since we upgraded from not having the Cannoneer, you know what? I don't care. I don't care about Evolve Skeletons. You can mess with me as much as you want with Evolve Skeletons at the river and they're going to die. They're going to get put in the ground again. So we're going to Ice Spirit here. We're going to go in for a skill drill. And then I think we can pop the ability in the right hand side. And this might work out wonderfully. If those two skeletons or one of them locks on the tower, we win. We win if that locks. Oh, come on, man. You just had to do me dirty like that. We were inches away from a wild win, but it didn't work out. You know what? Screw it. We're going to activate King Tower with this Tesla. And usually you don't activate King Tower against Tesla because it's kind of uh, unreliable because it goes and pops down. And then uh, you frown and you wait and you look at the Tesla and you're like, yeah, you're not going to activate King Tower against that Firecracker. Wait, what is he doing? This guy is on a mission to lose the game. All right, we're going to go for a Goblin Drill here and we're going to Fireball and the Evolve Firecracker. So now he has no source of reliable damage. We can go for Skeleton so then we can get the first targeting Goblin onto the Skellies, hopefully. And if not, then it's fine. We just Fireball twice and we walk with a very dominant W. As you guys can see, if you're playing against another drill deck, idealistically, you go in for skeletons on defense or you drop your Tesla in this placement so then the Firecracker or the Evolve Bomber doesn't hit your tower. It's super important to make sure that you minimize the amount of damage that the Firecracker or Evolve Bomber can get because that is how you will lose the game. The Goblin Drill can get countered by Log like you guys are seeing. You just Log it, you kill the drill with that, and then the Goblins that spawn from the drill will also die as well. You just have to make sure that the Log is what finishes off the Goblin Drill. And then it's quick cleanups for clean wins. Drill the like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe for more daily content, and have an amazing rest of your day.